Hi, this is Heath with BuildBox. In this video, we're going to learn about different level design elements by having a look at the platformer game style demo. We're going to take a look at the new particle effects available in BuildBox 2, object wake settings, logic pieces including transform and menu jump, physics objects and wake settings, lights, and actions. When we start BuildBox, we first see the welcome screen. Click on the platformer demo to the right. The first thing we notice is the new particle effects available in BuildBox 2. To edit the particle emitters, click on the particle effect placeholder in the scene. To the upper right in the options panel, you will see an edit button for the emitters. Click here to bring up the particles editor window. To edit the emitter, Select it at the left. Here you can drag in a new image for your particle. And there are many options to change the behavior of your effect. The next design element we come across in the platformer demo is wake up settings on an object. As we approach this platform, it reacts to us landing on it. When we select the platform, we can see in the options panel that it has a linear velocity of 2.5 on the x-axis. However, using a wake-up component means that the platform won't engage that velocity until it meets the requirements of the wake-up component, and in our case, the requirement for this platform is colliding with it. Adding components to objects is easy. Just click on the Add Component button at the bottom. The next level design element we see in the platformer demo is a logic piece. There are several logic pieces that appear in the platformer demo, including the menu jump logic piece. The first one is the transform logic piece. This logic piece is used to change the behavior of objects. Once an object touches the transform logic piece, it takes upon itself the settings of the transform logic piece set forth in the options panel. For instance, this logic piece has specified zero velocity in both the X and Y axes. Just choose the asset you want to affect and how you would like to apply the options to your affected asset. You can add, multiply, or replace the options of the affected asset with the options above. The next design element we come across in the demo is a physics object. Physics objects are acted upon by the world settings like gravity and friction, and most importantly, by our character. Objects are changed to physics objects by selecting them and changing the properties in the options panel. This physics object also has a wake-up setting with a distance requirement of 100 pixels. As we approach the distance threshold, the linear velocities set forth in the properties come alive and launch the object appropriately. Next, we see the light effect. Lights can be any color found in the color chooser and can be set to apply shadows to objects or not. The next level design element we see in the demo is a menu jump logic piece. Menu jump allows you to connect the current world to another world or to a menu. When the player touches the menu jump, we also have the option of pausing the current world. This is useful for a world complete menu. The menu jump in the platformer demo is connected to a world with a secret level. In those scenes, we see our next level design element, actions, and in the case of the demo, these actions are coins. Selecting the action in the assets panel will reveal its properties in the options panel. As you can see, this action is set to reward one coin when a player touches it. In review, we learned about level design elements including the particle effect, adding wake-up components to objects, logic pieces including the transform logic and menu jump, physics objects, lights, and actions. Thank you for joining us. Find more helpful videos at buildbox.com.